Hello my lovelies, my name's Gilbert Dorvaliant and the plan for today is to give you a quick update on what's happening with CoCovid. So as you may or may not know, a whole load of us costumers are putting together a kind of semi-replacement for a summer convention here on YouTube. It was Noelle from Costuming Drama's idea, so if you have a moment, please go say thank you to her. She's worked incredibly hard on this whole thing and it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for her. But the long and the short of it is that next weekend, the end of July 2020, we are going to be flooding YouTube with so many videos filled with educational and fun content for you all to enjoy. Like I said, to make up for the conventions that we obviously cannot go to this year. There's going to be lives and premieres, as well as all kinds of other videos. We've set up a Discord so you guys can chat and hang out as if we were there together in person. We have got a replacement for the ribbon games, so you can collect ribbons from people's channels and from their videos. And on Instagram, we're also gonna be hosting events like the red carpet, ice cream socials, all of that kind of stuff. So. It's going to be bringing as much fun of the convention to your home as we possibly can. Personally, I'm really, really excited. There's already been a massive response to this. It's always already been a fantastic response to this and I can't wait to see how the actual weekend is gonna be. So if you haven't already seen, the program dropped on Saturday, so a couple of days ago when I'm putting this out, and it is amazing. There's 142 videos from 75 channels on there. You are not going to be short of content. So I personally have two videos coming out for you this weekend and I'm gonna be involved in a live as well. Both of my videos are gonna be premieres, so when they go up, I'm going to be here on YouTube with you guys, so I'll be here to answer your comments and to chat with you and answer any questions that you have. The first one is gonna be Hand Sewing 101. So I'm going to be covering my five favorite hand stitches, the ones that you need to start hand stitching with. I really wanted to make sure that it would be productive because it was originally planned as a workshop for a convention that should have been running next weekend. So we're going to be making a little needle book together. I have got a list of all the things that you'll need down below to make that needle book, but if you can't get hold of them or you don't have them, don't worry about it. You can sew along just by making a sampler. For that, you're just gonna need a piece of non-stretch fabric, probably about 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters, but obviously the bigger it is, the more space you'll have to practice. If you do wanna sew along, I recommend you get started on gathering all of those things so that when the video goes up, you're gonna be ready to sew along. That video is gonna be going up at my usual time. So it will be up on Thursday at seven o'clock European Central Time and one o'clock in Eastern Standard Time, but it will be staying up. So if you can't make it for the video, don't worry, it will still be there for you to watch. The second video is gonna be a follow-up to that first one, but you won't have needed to be there for the first one to do it as it's more on embroidery stitches. So that's Hand Sewing 102. And for that one, again, I wanted to do something productive. So I've produced a little design and I'm gonna be walking you through stitching it. Again, with five of the basic starter embroidery stitches, although one of those is a construction stitch as well. And obviously all of them can be used on designs on clothing. They're not only for hand embroidery, they're used in all kinds of decoration. That pattern is linked down below. And again, I recommend that you print that off and prepare it before the panel itself because it's just gonna save you time when we get to the actual panel and you don't wanna be rushing through preparing everything when the panel starts. If you need instructions on how to prepare your embroidery, then I recommend the video that I produced on that. That's linked above and below and that walks you through all of my steps as to how I personally prepare embroidery patterns. It's already patterned out for a 15 by 15 centimeter hoop or for a six inch by six inch hoop. If you can't get hold of a hoop, don't worry, I've specifically gone out and picked stitches that will work without one. Obviously it will be easier and they will look better with one, but just as a starter to learn the stitches, it's perfectly fine to do it without them. There is a gap on the pattern for you to insert your initials or someone else's initials, or if you don't want to use your initials because you want to share it with everyone later, I recommend you use a simple outline of something, for example, a heart. It does need to be something with curved edges because of the stitch we're using, but whatever you want to put in the middle, that's what that space is for. And you should be able to see on the one that I've got with my initials on there, what kind of thing I'm talking about for that middle section. So again, that's gonna be going up at seven o'clock European Central Time or one o'clock on the Eastern American Time, Eastern Standard Time, that one. But that will be going up on Saturday. So Saturday, seven o'clock European Central Time. 
and or one o'clock in Eastern Standard Time. Again, that video is going to be staying up, so if you can't be there for it, don't worry, it will still be there. Obviously, I won't be there in the live chat, but I will be answering comments later, so if you have any questions, pop them in there. You can also pop them in the Discord while that's open, if you tag me in them, because I probably won't see it otherwise. And again, on Instagram as well, if you want to post anything that you've made in those panels, I will be trying to answer, see as many of them as I can, so if you tag me on there, that's at Dolphalion then I will do my best to see everyone's and repost as many of them as I can because, yeah, I want to see what people make. It's going to be really fun. And finally, the other video that I'm going to be taking part in is a live, and that live is going to be on people with disability in costuming. I'm really, really proud to be, along with Nikki from Liam, representing autistic people on that panel. I'm also epileptic, so that's the other thing that I'm going to be talking about on that panel. And that's going to be hosted on Snappy Dragon's panel. We've got a huge range of disabilities represented by the panellists, all of whom who are linked down below. It's going to be really interesting. I can't wait to hear some of the answers that people give. So I really recommend that if you're around for that, that you pop in because it should be a lot of fun and really interesting as well. So that's going to be a live discussion on Friday and it's going up at 8 p.m. in European Central Time and at, or at two o'clock in Eastern Central Time. And it will be on Snappy Dragon's channel, which is linked down below along with all the other panelists. So please pop along to that. So of course my videos aren't going to be the only ones going up there. Like I said, 142 videos. It's going to be amazing. So if you want the full details, I've linked the PDF program down below. Download that and you'll see all of the videos listed in all detail so you can head out and check them out. It's also got all the information about the Discord, about the events that are going on, and about the badge game. So have a good look at that. If you're not already, I highly recommend that you follow the Costube Guide on Instagram. That's the guide that I, Nikki, Noelle, Kirili and Serena have been running for the last month or so now, which updates every day with the videos that are coming out on Costube for the next day and the day after that. But we're using that to host all of the information about CoCovid. So all of the up-to-date information will be posted on there. And Costuming Drama, Noelle, has also been posting a lot of the information on her channel because like I said, this is her brainchild. Please thank her for all of her amazing work for this weekend because it's going to be so good, you guys. I'm so excited. So yeah, with all of the videos that are coming out, I'm pretty much certain that everyone is gonna find something that's there for them. So please come along, please have fun. I know it's not the same as having a real convention, but sadly this is the closest we're gonna get this year, so we have to take what we can get. So that's all kicking off in a couple of days, and I really hope that I will see some of you guys around for that. Like I said, I'll be hanging out in the Discord as much as I can. If you want to contact me directly, you will need to ping me on there because I'm not going to see any messages, otherwise it's moving already way too fast. And again, on Instagram, if you wanna get my attention. If you tag me at Dolphalion, then I should be able to find your comment, hopefully. It's going to be very busy, but I do want to be there to answer as many questions and comments as I can. So, that is the update. Like I said, hopefully we will be having a lot of fun this weekend together. If you're watching this too late, don't worry. There will be playlists, most of the videos are staying up, so you will still be able to watch them years and years into the future. These videos are not just for one weekend, that's the best thing about it, they're going to stay around. So, stay safe, stay sensible, and we're going to have a lot of fun together next weekend, or not if you're watching this in the future. But, I shall see you again soon in any case. Bye! The one that's linked is already patterned out for a 15 by 15 centimeter hoop or a uh, inches, inches.